you know, if somebody was to ask me to preach the gospel, I could try the, you know, the the commercial way by just giving you the upside and hoping that you're so wild by how much everything is about you that you'd want to say yes. Or I could start with the downside, which actually pre creates the backdrop uh, to the upside. And that is that man is born in a state of need, born needing something. The Bible calls it to be reborn, born from above. Uh, the Bible says that the first birth had a defect in us was born the propensity or the willingness excuse me I forgot this is for young people uh, the Bible says that we were born with a bent toward doing wrong that the Bible says that there's a pull whenever you see something that says don't you see like that's when you want to do more uh, if they didn't say nothing you would just you know pass it by don't you know don't touch the wet paint you're like oh is it wet you know it seems like we're pulled in the wrong direction seems like forbidden fruit you know you can have the dopest girlfriend or boyfriend in my case wife and yet sometimes you find yourself being pulled to that which is not yours it's just this internal defect that we have so what God did is he had to send Jesus Christ to come in and to destroy the grip that that has on us he did it by becoming a human so that he could be perfect human because no human is perfect God had to become a human so we'd have a perfect human and then that perfect human had to lay his life down so that people could be born again I know this is deep but you got to understand that it took a sacrifice the Bible says without the shedding of blood, God does not remove sin debts. So God had to shed his own blood and he had to be buried to prove I'm dead. But then he had to get back up to prove not for my sin. I died to take on your sin. And when he got up, he said, all powers in my hand. I give life to whomever I will. If you trust in Jesus Christ who died on the cross and was buried three days later, got up from the grave. The Bible says you will be saved. Believe that. Spend your life unpacking that. Spend your life in the scripture is understanding that and you will see the impact of the gospel take transforming you.